Introduction to the Power of Silence Have you ever found yourself marveling at the quiet ones in the room? You know, those who, instead of filling the air with words, choose to speak volumes through their silence and calm, making their words count when they do choose to speak. It's like they've cracked a secret code to living well, isn't it? Well, buckle up because today we're unraveling that mystery together. You're about to discover what sets these quiet warriors apart. And surprisingly, it's not just about being the strong silent type you see in movies. It's about something deeper, something that has been shaping leaders, thinkers and seekers for centuries. Stoicism. Now, before you think, ah, another lecture on ancient philosophy. Let me stop you right there. This isn't about dusting off old books or memorizing quotes from philosophers who had impressively long beards. No, we're diving into how the stoic practice of speaking less can actually crank up the volume on your life's quality. So if you're curious about how saying less can actually mean more, or how silence can become your strongest reply, you've landed in the right place. Join me. And let's explore together how these timeless traits can redefine our noisy world one quiet moment at a time. Don't forget to hit that like button, and let's not just start this journey together, but make sure we see it through to the very end. Every piece of insight, every trait we unveil, builds on the last, crafting a roadmap to harnessing the power of silence in your own life. Staying till the end, that's where the real magic happens, transforming silence into your personal superpower. You'll want to stick around for every bit of this. It's not just a journey, it's a transformation ready to unfold with each moment we share. Silence causes confusion for the opponent. Silence causes confusion for the opponent. When you choose silence, you're holding a mirror up to the world, letting others reveal themselves while you stay grounded like a tree standing firm through a storm. It's about mastering the art of stillness, where your quiet becomes a canvas for others' thoughts and insecurities to paint themselves. This isn't about shutting down. It's a strategic embrace of calm, a lesson from the Stoics that teaches us the power of being like water, clear, reflective, and unfazed. Laozi once said, silence is a source of great strength. Imagine harnessing that inner Stoic within you, nurturing your wisdom while chaos tries to disrupt your peace. This silent strategy disrupts the usual dance of dialogue, where words are thrown like darts in hopes of hitting a target. Instead, your silence becomes a shield, deflecting these darts and leaving the thrower puzzled, unsure of their next move. It's a moment where you're not just listening, but also observing the waves of uncertainty your calm can cause. Here in the quiet, you're learning, planning, and staying steps ahead. Your silence speaks volumes, telling the world you're someone who moves with intention, not impulse. Embracing silence is a journey of empowerment, one that aligns with the stoic virtues of wisdom and temperance. It teaches us to value the unspoken, to find strength in stillness, and to see clarity in the calm. This stoic silence isn't a void. It's a space brimming with potential where you're free to observe, reflect, and choose your path with precision. So let silence be your strategy and your strength. In the quiet, find your voice and let it guide you with the wisdom of the ages, always remembering that in this stillness, there's a power unmatched by words. Eliminate distractions. Eliminate distractions as we step through our days navigating a sea of noise. It's essential to recognize the power of silence, the strength in speaking less, this isn't about withholding your voice, but about enriching its value. The wise Stoics like Marcus Aurelius and Epicurus understood the weight of words, the importance of thought before speech. They saw silence, not as a void, but as a canvas for reflection, a moment to harness inner peace and clarity. Our journey today revisits this ancient wisdom, urging us to eliminate distractions, to find in the quiet a deeper connection with ourselves and the world around us. Why then is this trait of speaking less so crucial in our modern whirlwind? The answer lies in the quality of our interactions. Every word you choose to share carries the potential to build or to break, to enlighten or to obscure. In choosing silence over chatter, you give your words the room to breathe, 
to resonate more profoundly with those who hear them. This practice of thoughtful communication is a testament to respect, respect for the listener, for the message, and for yourself. It's a stoic reminder that power often lies in simplicity, in the spaces between words where understanding and connection grow. But how do we cultivate this trait, especially when the world screams for our constant engagement? It begins with intentionality, with the conscious choice to embrace moments of silence throughout your day. This might mean pausing before responding in conversation, allowing yourself to fully absorb what's being said, or finding time each day to disconnect from the digital cacophony. It's in these moments of stillness that we find clarity, that we're able to reflect on our thoughts and refine our message. This discipline of silence, of speaking less, challenges us to prioritize quality over quantity, meaning over mere noise. So I invite you to embark on this path of stoic practice. Notice how embracing silence transforms your conversations, your relationships, your understanding of the world. You'll find that by speaking less, your words gain more weight, your thoughts clarity, and your interactions depth. This isn't just about talking less, it's about communicating better, about living with intention and purpose. In the wisdom of our stoic guides, let us find the courage to seek out the silence, to give our words the space to echo with truth and significance. Let this be the journey to a more focused, serene, and meaningful existence. Silence attracts attention. Silence often overlooked holds a magnetic power in the art of conversation. It's like the calm before the storm or the breath between beats in a thrilling drum solo. This isn't about just keeping quiet. It's about mastering the moments when silence can speak louder than words. Picture a scene where everyone's rushing to voice their thoughts, and there you are, calm, collected, and silent. Your quietness isn't a sign of withdrawal, but a beacon of confidence drawing people in, making them wonder what's on your mind. This curiosity gives you an unseen edge, a subtle control in the dynamics of interaction, echoing the stoic belief in the power of restraint and thoughtful action. Diving deeper, think of silence as a canvas on which others can project their thoughts and feelings. It's about giving space, not just physically but mentally, for ideas to breathe and grow. When you choose to listen rather than respond, you're not passive. You're actively engaging in understanding the world from another's perspective. This act of empathy, deeply rooted in Stoic philosophy, strengthens connections and fosters a deeper understanding of those around us. It's a powerful tool, transforming how we interact in our relationships, workplaces, and even within our inner dialogues. Now let's shift gears and consider how this silent strategy can amplify our impact when we do choose to speak. Stoicism teaches us the value of quality over quantity. By speaking less but with more intention, every word we utter carries weight, resonating with purpose and thoughtfulness. It's about striking that delicate balance between silence and speech, where our words become more impactful not because of their volume, but because of their value. This approach doesn't just elevate our communication, it enriches our interactions, making them more meaningful and profound. Embracing silence is an art, a deliberate choice. In our fast-paced, noise-filled world, it's a skill that, once honed, can bring peace, influence, and depth to our lives. This isn't about shunning conversation, but about enhancing it, using silence as a tool to deepen connections, understand others, and convey our thoughts with precision. It's a journey of discovering the power of pause, a testament to the timeless wisdom of Stoicism that teaches us the strength in stillness and the virtue of listening. In a world that never stops talking, let us find authentic communication, learning not just to speak, but to speak with purpose and to listen with intention. This is the path to a life of depth, harmony, and genuine fulfillment. Silence builds strength. Have you ever noticed how some people command a room not by the volume of their words, but by the weight of their silence? This is the mark of those who have mastered the art of speaking less, a trait deeply rooted in Stoic philosophy. Stoicism teaches us the power of introspection and inner calm, virtues that thrive in silence. 
By embracing quiet moments, we tap into our inner strength, much like drawing water from a deep well. Silence isn't about absence but presence, a focused engagement with our inner selves where we listen intently to our thoughts, emotions, and intuitions. It's in these silent conversations that we uncover our true desires and the paths we wish to walk in life. Consider silence as your personal trainer for the mind. Just as athletes build physical endurance and strength through rigorous training, you can fortify your mental resilience in the quiet, in the hush away from the world's noise. You're not just sitting idly. You're actively building a fortress of calm within yourself. This sanctuary is where you learn to wrestle with and understand your inner chaos, emerging more centered and unshakable. It's a practice that not only prepares you to face life's challenges, but also sharpens your clarity, allowing you to prioritize what truly matters. Now think about the clarity that comes from such silence. This isn't just about having peace of mind. It's about gaining the clarity to make decisions that resonate deeply with your core values. When your actions stem from a place of deep reflection, they carry more intention and purpose. This deliberate way of living doesn't just alter your own life, it transforms how you interact with the world. Your words become more impactful, your decisions more deliberate, and your presence more serene and authoritative. Silence in this way isn't merely a personal retreat, but a tool that shapes how we navigate the world and our relationships within it. So what does it mean to speak less and listen more? It means engaging in a more meaningful dialogue with ourselves and the world around us. It's about harnessing the strength that comes from silence to lead a life of purpose guided by stoic wisdom. This journey of silent introspection doesn't make us withdrawn, but rather equips us with the insight and calm to act with conviction and grace. As we embrace the quiet, we become like the Stoics of old, resilient, clear-headed, and profoundly impactful. Freedom from pride or arrogance. Freedom from pride or arrogance doesn't mean you're lowering yourself or dismissing your talents. It's about seeing your strengths and weaknesses clearly without letting either inflate or diminish your sense of self. Think of it as walking a balanced line. On one side is arrogance, where you see yourself above others, and on the other side is self-deprecation, where you undervalue your worth. Staying in the middle requires a steady gaze inward, recognizing that achievements don't elevate us above anyone else. This balance is not just about humility. It's about truth, the truth of our shared human experience. Embracing this truth transforms how we interact in the world. It shifts the focus from speaking to listening, from asserting to understanding. People who embody this trait tend to speak less, not because they have nothing to say, but because they understand the value of words. They choose them with care, ensuring that when they do speak, it adds value, not noise. This quiet strength draws others in, fostering deeper connections and mutual respect. It's a reminder that in silence, we often say more than with a thousand words. This approach to life and communication doesn't happen overnight. It begins with self-reflection, a cornerstone of stoic practice. Regularly examining our motives and biases helps us align our actions with our deeper values. By acknowledging our flaws and limitations, we learn to extend the same understanding to others. This process isn't about finding faults. It's about growing in wisdom and compassion. And as we grow, we find that our relationships deepen, our minds open, and our lives become richer. So as we navigate our days, let's remember the power of stepping back, of listening more than we speak. By embracing the stoic virtue of freedom from pride or arrogance, we cultivate a life of meaningful interactions and true connections. It's in this space that we find authentic communication, learning not just to speak, but to speak with purpose and to listen with intention. This is the path to a life of depth, harmony, and genuine fulfillment. Silence in Negotiations Let's talk about the power of silence, especially in the art of negotiation. It's like having a secret weapon, one that's been valued by the wise Stoics of ancient times and still holds immense power in our fast-paced world. Silence, when wielded with precision, is more than just the absence of sound. 
It's a full-bodied strategy that can shift the dynamics of any conversation. Think of it as the calm before the storm, not one that wreaks havoc, but one that brings clarity, understanding, and ultimately, resolution. Now, why would someone who speaks less, especially in negotiations, often find themselves in a position of strength? It's not about holding back for the sake of mystery. It's about creating space for reflection, for the dust to settle, allowing us to see the core of what's truly important. Marcus Aurelius once said, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. Applying this to our context, silence gives us the power to control the narrative, not by dominating the conversation, but by steering it with the rudder of thoughtful consideration. Harnessing the power of silence begins with self-awareness. Know when the impulse to speak is just a reaction rather than a response. It's like being the captain of your ship in the midst of a stormy sea. The waves of conversation may toss and turn, but your hand remains steady, choosing when to sail forward with words or when to anchor in silence. This practice not only reflects confidence but also respect. Respect for the moment, for the words yet to be spoken, and for the people we're engaging with. It's a testament to the belief that what we say should be meaningful, impactful, and when the time is right, transformative. As we navigate through our daily interactions, let's remember the strategic value of silence. It's a tool for building bridges rather than walls, for opening doors instead of closing them. By embracing silence, we're not just participating in a negotiation, we're elevating it to a dialogue where understanding and respect hold the highest currency. So the next time you find yourself in a conversation, negotiation, or any moment of exchange, consider the power of pausing. It might just be the most eloquent thing you ever say. Kind and considerate regard for others. Empathy and consideration for others are like hidden superpowers in our fast-paced, often self-centered world. Stoicism, an ancient philosophy that still echoes with relevance today, teaches us the value of these virtues. It shows us how kindness and a considerate regard for others can transform not just our relationships, but also how we view ourselves and the world around us. Stoic wisdom from thinkers like Seneca emphasizes the importance of understanding and compassion in our interactions. Let's delve deeper into this. When we choose to act with kindness, to genuinely consider the feelings and perspectives of others, we're not just being polite. We're engaging in a profound act of humanity that reflects the stoic belief in the interconnectedness of all people. This isn't about suppressing our own thoughts or feelings, but about creating space for a more inclusive, empathetic understanding of those around us. Such actions don't go unnoticed. They ripple through our relationships, fostering a sense of mutual respect and understanding. Now, how do we make this ancient wisdom a part of our modern lives? Start by observing. Notice the impact of your words and actions on others. Are you adding to the noise, or are you a source of calm and understanding? Practice active listening. When someone speaks to you, give them your full attention. This isn't just about hearing their words, but about trying to understand the emotions and intentions behind those words. It's a simple act, but in doing so, you honor the speaker and the stoic tradition of empathy and rational dialogue. Reflect on the stories and struggles of those around you with the same intensity and respect as you would want for your own. This reflective practice not only deepens your understanding and empathy, but also strengthens your relationships. It's about seeing the world through the eyes of others and recognizing the common humanity that binds us all. Stoicism teaches us that in each interaction, there's an opportunity to practice kindness and consideration, leading to a richer, more connected life. By adopting these principles, we not only live up to the best of our stoic heritage, but also bring out the best in ourselves and those around us. The Art of Deep Listening Deep listening, an art often overshadowed by the clamor of our daily lives, holds a quiet power that those who speak less have mastered. These individuals understand something profound, that silence can be as expressive and impactful as words. This understanding is deeply rooted in Stoicism, a philosophy that teaches us the value of empathy, wisdom, 
and the strength found in quietude. To these quiet listeners, every conversation is a treasure trove of opportunities to learn and connect on a level that words alone cannot reach. They approach discussions not as platforms for their own voices, but as chances to dive into the depths of another's thoughts and feelings. This is not merely about keeping silent. It's about active engagement without the interruption of one's own voice. Imagine the difference it makes when you listen not just to reply but to understand, to feel with the other person. This is the essence of Stoic empathy, recognizing that behind every word lies a multitude of emotions, stories, and wisdom waiting to be discovered. Practicing deep listening begins with intentionality, a willingness to see every interaction as a lesson in humanity. It's about turning off the mental noise to tune into the frequency of another's experience, allowing their narrative to unfold without the rush to insert our own. This requires patience, a stoic virtue teaching us to control the urge to speak and to instead give the stage to the silence that speaks volumes. Patience in listening brings us closer to wisdom as it opens doors to perspectives we might never have considered if we were too busy formulating our next sentence. So how do we cultivate this powerful trait? Start by embracing the silence within yourself. Learn to be comfortable in the quiet, for it is in these moments that we become receptive to the subtle nuances of communication. Reflect on the words of Epictetus, who reminded us that we have two ears and one mouth so that we can listen twice as much as we speak. Let this ancient wisdom guide you toward becoming a beacon of empathy, understanding, and wisdom in a world that desperately needs more listeners and fewer speakers. This journey of listening deeply is not just about enhancing our personal relationships or becoming better communicators. It's a pathway to living a more stoic, fulfilled life. The Art of Reflective Wisdom The Art of Reflective Wisdom Diving deep into our own thoughts and emotions can feel like navigating an uncharted sea. It's a journey that requires courage, curiosity, and an open heart. This exploration, this quest for understanding, is at the heart of what it means to embody stoicism in our modern world. It's about pausing in a culture that prizes constant noise and chatter to find value in silence and introspection, the art of saying less, of choosing when to speak and when to listen, is a trait deeply rooted in reflective wisdom. It's not about silence for the sake of silence, but about understanding the power of words and the impact they can have. Consider those moments when a friend shares a problem. The urge to fill the silence with advice, with words, is strong. Yet often, the greatest support we can offer is our presence and our ability to listen. This choice to listen rather than speak stems from a profound understanding of human connection. It acknowledges that sometimes what we need most is to be heard, not to be given answers. This wisdom, that knowing when to speak and when to hold back enhances our relationships and our ability to connect on a deeper level. But how do we cultivate this reflective wisdom, this discipline of the tongue? It starts with observing our own patterns of speech and silence. It's about asking ourselves, is what I'm about to say necessary? Is it kind? Will it improve upon the silence? This process isn't about self-censorship, but about cultivating intentionality in our communication. By embracing this practice, we learn to speak with purpose, to choose our words with care, and to appreciate the profound impact of listening. This journey toward reflective wisdom is both personal and universal. It connects us to the ancient Stoics who understood the power of words and the value of silence. By choosing to speak less and listen more, we not only honor their legacy, but also enrich our own lives. We become more thoughtful in our interactions, more deliberate in our choices, and more attuned to the world around us. This path is not always easy, but it is immensely rewarding. It invites us to step into the role of the sage, the listener, the thoughtful communicator who embodies the timeless wisdom of Stoicism. Conclusion The power of silence is not just in its absence of sound, but in its presence of depth, meaning, and impact. It's a tool, a strategy, and a way of being that transcends mere words. By embracing the Stoic virtues of wisdom, 
empathy, and reflective listening, we unlock the true potential of our communication. So let's practice speaking less, but with more intention, listening deeply but with an open heart, and navigating our lives with the wisdom of reflective silence. In doing so, we not only honor the timeless wisdom of the Stoics, but also pave the way for a more connected, compassionate, and fulfilling existence.